In this session, we are discussing binary search tree, one of the most important data structures. In case of binary search tree, the binary search tree will have some properties. Property number 1, it should be a binary tree. Property number 2, no value in the binary search tree will be repeated. Property number 3 is that any node n, all the values of its left subtree will be lesser than n and all the values of its right subtree will be lesser than the value in n. So, to explain this one, let us go for this example. It is a binary search tree. If you consider, see, it is a binary tree and all the values have occurred once only, no value have got repeated because that is not allowed, repetitions are not allowed and take any node, say 56, its left subtree values are lesser than 56 and right subtree values are greater than 56, 46, left subtree values are lesser than 46 and right subtree all the values are greater than 46. So, that is why it is a binary search tree. You might be asking me what is the purpose of binary search tree? The purpose of binary search tree is quite simple that is for the searching. Okay, now, let me tell you, let us suppose I am searching item is equal to 100. Let us suppose I am searching for item is equal to 100. So, now at first this 100 will be compared with 46. If I get it there, successful searching will be declared, but it is not so. 46 is not equal to 100, but 46 is lesser than 100. So, that is why 100 should be found on its right subtree, not on its left subtree, because right subtree values are more than the root node value. So, in this case, 100 will be compared with this, not matching, but 56 is lesser. So, I will be coming down here, its right child, right subtree. So, now 95 is not equal to 100, but 95 is lesser than 100. So, I should go for its right subtree, right child. But you see 95 is not having any right child. So, that is why 100 is not there, it is declared. So, here you see I need not to search this or compare this 100 with all the values in this binary search tree. So, that is why the searching can be done very easily. If the item is not 100, let us suppose the item is 47, then in that case 47 will be compared with 46, not equal to 46 is lesser. So, now I will be coming down here. 56 is not equal to 47, but 47 is lesser than 56. So, I should go to the left subtree. So, left child is this one and 47 and 47 is matching. So, I can easily say that yes, it is existing and successful searching will be declared. So, that means this binary search tree is only for the searching and why these values are not allowed to get repeated? Because these values are nothing but key values. So, key value say employee id is a key. So, key values cannot get repeated because using the key the respective record has to be uniquely identified. So, that is why they are nothing but the key values. So, using this particular binary search tree we can do the searching on records on the key values very easily. So, that is why it is called this binary search tree is mainly for the searching. Now, how many maximum number of searching will be required? that will decide the complexity. So, that will be decided by the depth of the binary search tree. Here you say 1, 2, 3, 4 is the maximum depth. That means, from the root node to the leaf node, maximum number of nodes falling on the path is known as the depth of the binary search tree. So, as this particular tree is having a depth of 4, so that means, for this particular binary search tree, maximum 4 searching will be required to declare whether the data item has been found or it is not available there. So, that is why it is the worst case complexity that is the depth of the binary search tree. So, in this way the binary search tree is having its application in the in data structure. Okay. Always remember the in order traversal of a binary search tree will be always shorted. I am showing you this one. Let us suppose I am going to take the in order traversal. In order traversal means left subtree will be traversed in the in order, then root will be processed, then right subtree will be traversed in the in order. So, you see, so I should start with this 6, then I shall come down to 17, then I shall come to this right subtree. 
So again the lip sub tree root. So I will be going for this 20 and then 24. Then I shall go. So lip sub tree has been traversed. I shall go for the root. So that is 46. And then I shall come down here. So 47. So then 47. Then I shall go for the root. So that is my 56. Then here 70 and then 95. Then 70 and then 95. Now see, you are getting all those values in the ascending order. So always remember the in order traversal of a binary search tree will generate shorted values always. So that's why in our question also, this question may come that one tree is given and its in order traversals are given. Four options are there, say. So I should tick that very particular traversal which is shorted. So that means the in order traversal of a binary search tree will generate shorted values in the ascending order. So now in the next videos, we will be going for different operations on this binary search tree. Please keep watching all the videos because that will help you a lot. Thanks for watching this one.